Okay, hi. So this is my demo video. And here is my clock. As you can see, it says 217. Right? Because I've been leaving it on for 2 hours and 17 minutes. And the hours, the chips are stable. And the minute the chips are blinking every second as in the requirements. And I have four resistors right here going into the four anode so that it won't burn my LED anymore. And down here, as you can see, these two are just the ground and the 3.3 voltage wires from the board. And then I have A inputs here. This is input 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the first two, the first one is a down button. The second one is an up button. This one is set hour. This one is set minute. And this one is military time. Okay, so I will test it. So first, I will move the, the third one, set hour to one. Which is, I'm setting the hour now. If you can look at, you can see that's the hour. I'll move it a little down. Okay, and then if I decrement it, it will go 0 and 1, I mean 1 and then 0, and then this is going up, so I will move it up, so it's 1, 2, 3, if I keep it up, it will increment every second, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then now you can see the little dot over here, it's on because now it's PM. Okay, I'll stop right there. So seven. P stop right there. So seven p.m. And then I'll test the set min. I'll put the set hour back to zero. Testing the set minute. I will. It's now nineteen. I will increment it. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So it works the same as the set hour. If you leave it at one, then it will increment every second. And I'll put it back to zero. Twenty-nine. So 7.29 p.m., which is not the time right now, but I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to put the set minute back to zero. So I'm going to show you, if you put it one, it will show military time, so it's 19.30. So 7.30 p.m., and if you put it back, it will show you the normal time again. Okay, and then the three over here, the three inputs left that I haven't talked about, there are for the, um, the stopwatch function that I've added to this. So this one is stopwatch enable. So if you just put it here, it will enable stopwatch function C. So now everything is zero. This, the next one is the run. So if you put it to one, it will start running second by second. And then it will run up to a minute. And then for the minute over here, it can run up to 99 minutes. So it can run up to 99, 59, and then it will go back to zero. So if you put it back, it will stop running. And then the last one is the set zero. So if you want to reset your stopwatch, just reset it. Okay. You put it back. Okay. That's it. Oh, and one more thing. It will remember the value of your hour and minute before. So if you put it using stopwatch, for example, let it run for like two seconds, three seconds, and then go back. And then you reset the stopwatch, and then you put it back into the normal, it will keep going. The clock will still keep going. Just Okay, hi. So I'm gonna talk about the code right now. So see the device is running. And then let's see. I have two inputs here, the clock and the reset. And then I have A inputs here, which I have written down. This is like the input is the pin is IO1 and then it's a down. This is up, set hour, set minute, military time stop watch enable, blah blah blah. As I've said before when I demo you the clock over here I have the variables I have declared registers second minute is to keep track of the time and then the minute one minute two is to display 
the AM PM, the hours to keep track of the underlying clock, and R1, R2 is the display. So display is right here, R1, R2, and then minute 1, minute 2. I have assigned AM PM if hour is larger than or equal to 12, make it 1, which means PM, and then else is 0, which means it's AM. Over here, I have a register called sec count. It's a second counter. It's 28 bit. Um, so right here, I said if reset is a negative reset. So if not reset, and you set everything to zero, and else you just second counter, second counter plus one, and then if it reaches a hundred million because it's a 100 megahertz clock. I'm gonna have to increase the second by one and then the set count will be reset to zero. If the seconds go up to 60 then I will have the second goes to zero and then increase the minute by one. The same for minute I'll increase the hour by one and if the hour reaches 24 it will go back to zero. And that was the uh, clock operation module or like code block because I code it all in one file uh, here's setting hour and minute so <clears throat> I will have if the input set hour is high and then if second count is 9999 so basically I want to change it every one second so I put this one here and then if I go down if it's zero, then it will stay zero. If it's not zero, then it will be decremented by one. Else, if the up is high, then you will increment it. And then if it is incremented to 24, it will, from here, it will automatically go back to zero. Over here, we have the set minute, which is basically the same. I set it every second. If it's zero, then it won't go down anymore. If it's up, then it just keep going up and then if it goes to 60 it will be automatically reset so clock display output so here I have one big clock for the clock display output here is the military hour display so <coughs> if it says military you do military display if hour is greater than 10, I mean if it's less than 10, then the first number is 0, the second number is just hour, so it's 0 to 9, makes sense, right? If the <clears throat> if it's greater than 10, so from 10 to 24, 23, it will, the first number will be the hour divided by 10, so maybe it's, it's like 22, so you divide it by 10, you get 2, so the first number will be 2, and the second digit will be the, using the modulo function so like if you get 22 you modulo 10 then you still get 2 so you get a later number so for example you get 16 you modulo 10 you get 6 that's how I get the two digits and for the AM PM I just have a bunch way more cases so less than 10 it's the same so from 10 to 12 I have to 1 here and then modulo 10 from 12 to 22 I have the first digit is 0 because now it's PM so it's, this one is just hour minus 12 and then the minute is the same I have the first one is divided by 10 the second one is modulo 10 display variable signs this is just me connecting the these register to the output and the input and then stopwatch operation this is my stopwatch function I have the one that keep track of the minute the one here to keep track of the second it says minute can go up to 99 so I need a 7 bit register and then minute 1 minute 2 is for the display second 1 second 2 is for the display the same as the hour and minute up there I just explained above so here it says if stopwatch enable begin then this whole code for the stopwatch only happens when stopwatch enable is enable. It's high, I mean. <laughs> and here, if stop.
stopwatch zero so this is if you plug in the zero wire it will reset to zero else if run so I wanted to increase every second right so I put this one here again same trick so I increment the second so if second gets to 60 then I increment the minute if the minute gets to 100 it goes back to zero it's same code same logic and now here is just the display for the stopwatch so it's basically the same I use divide by 10 and modulo 10 to get the first and the second number of the minute and the second here is the multiplexing four digits of the display so I basically I just have a counter right here I have a 17 bit so it's just like 7 Hertz I tried the 20 Hertz one like you said in the requirement but it just flickered too much so I just use a higher frequency so it has a better revolution it looks better overall so down here <coughs> I still have a normal display and a stopwatch display separately. So basically, I use the first two bits of this counter as the select line, the case line. So I have the case multiplexing on those two bits. So if first one, then you output hour one, second, then you output hour two. This is enabling it. And this is the decimal point. One is off and zero is on. This is always on because I want to separate the hour and the minute. And then this is for the minute one. This is like for the blinking, okay? So if the second counter is less than half of the maximum value, then it will turn on. And if not, then it will turn off. So it blinks every second. Decimal point still off. This decimal point is only on if the AM PM is on which minutes p.m. this is output in minute 2 same blinking action as above the stopwatch display is way easier because you don't have to blink anything so it will just be enabling and what is the output the out digits is a register holding the output to put in here so the out digits goes down to the 7th segment and then the 7th segment will change the 4-bit binary into the 7th segment display over here and that's it for my lab